So, which teams do you think are the dark horses in this World Cup? Afghanistan, Bangladesh. No, 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 no. Football World Cup. Ah. Let's have a look together then. Before we begin, I would just like to say that these are the teams that I consider as a top 5 dark horses at this year's World Cup. Let's begin with number 5. We got Poland. This is Poland's 9th World Cup appearance. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 26th in the world and 15th in Europe. As for Poland's best performance in the competition, they have reached the semi-finals of the World Cup before. Not once, but twice. It was back in 1974 and 1982. However, they had to be content with a third place finish on both occasions. This time in Qatar, Poland finds itself in Group C along with Argentina, Mexico and Saudi Arabia. Argentina and Mexico are favourites to go through. Having said that, Poland might fancy their chances against Mexico. Poland would be looking at its favourite son, Robert Lewandowski, to carry the team to the round of 16 and beyond. So that's Poland at number 5. At number 4, we have Serbia. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 21st in the world and 14th in Europe. This is Serbia's 13th World Cup appearance. This is because before 2006, as we all know, Serbia was part of Serbia and Montenegro, which in turn was a part of Federal Republic of Yugoslavia, Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia before that, and ultimately the Kingdom of Yugoslavia. The Serbian national team is considered as the only successor of that Yugoslavian team. The teams of other republics such as Croatia cannot stake claim to the Yugoslavian team's exploits. Serbia's best performance at the World Cup remains their fourth place finish in the 1930 and 1962 editions. Having said that, they have failed to go beyond the group stages in the last three editions, a record they would like to change this time in Qatar. Serbia finds itself in Group G along with Brazil, Switzerland and Cameroon. Brazil and Switzerland are favourites to go through. However, Serbia might fancy their chances against Switzerland. So that's Serbia at number 4. Moving on to number 3, we got Iran. I would have probably put Iran higher on this list. But given all the drama regarding their coach in the past few months, in addition to the ongoing protests in the country, football in Iran has taken a backseat. So I believe the number 3 spot is right for them. Having said that, ask anyone who has been watching football in Asia of late and they will tell you Iran's rise in the region in the past few years has been nothing short of phenomenal. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 20th in the world and 1st in Asia. This is Iran's 6th World Cup appearance. Iran is in Group B along with England, USA and Wales as the other teams. One might argue that this is the group of death. However, adversity brings out the best for some and who knows, this might spur the Iranian team to do better. Iran has never gone beyond the group stages of the World Cup, a record they would like to change this year in Qatar. So that's Iran at number 3. Moving on at number 2, we have got Wales. Iran's loss is Wales' gain. This is Wales' second World Cup appearance and their first in 64 years. They last played in the World Cup in Sweden in 1958. Having said that, as on 6th of October, they are ranked 19th in the world and 12th in Europe. Like Iran, Wales is also in the stacked group B along with England and USA. England is favourite to top this group. So it will come down to one team among USA, Iran and Wales to go through the next round. Wales is ranked slightly below USA and slightly above Iran. With the journeyman Gareth Bale in their ranks, Wales would not be pulling any punches at this year's World Cup. So that's Wales at number 2. Before we find out which team is number 1 on this list, let's have a look at few honourable mentions which are not part of my top 5. In fact, there are 4 of them. The reason they are not part of my top 5 is because all of them find themselves in already stacked groups which makes their odds of qualifying to the next round already difficult. We are going to have a look at them one by one. The first team which is not part of my top 5 is Morocco. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 22nd in the world. This is Morocco's 6th World Cup appearance. They are the second ranked African team and they are very much capable of pulling off a surprise win against the heavyweights in Group F which looks something like this. It includes world number 2 side Belgium, the finalist of the last edition of the World Cup Croatia and Canada. Morocco has reached the round of 16 of the World Cup only once in 1986. However, they failed to do so ever since. 
a record they would like to change this year in Qatar. Next up, we got Japan, which again is not part of my top 5. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 24th in the world and 2nd in Asia. This is Japan's 7th World Cup appearance, their 7th consecutive appearance, which is quite commendable for a team from Asia. Japan is in another stat group E, and this is how it looks like. They are pretty much looking down the barrel with Germany and Spain in their group. But football is a funny game, you never know what might happen. Japan has never gone beyond the round of 16 of the World Cup. Who knows, this year, Japan might do one better and go on to the last eight. Next up, we got South Korea, which is, let me be precise, not part of my top five. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 28th in the world and third in Asia. This is South Korea's 11th World Cup appearance, the most among any Asian country. In fact, this is their 10th consecutive appearance, which is definitely a first for any Asian team. They haven't missed a single World Cup since 1986. Their best performance came in 2002, the time when they were joint host of the first edition of the World Cup that took place in Asia. They finished at fourth place following their golden run to the semi-finals. Apart from that World Cup, South Korea has managed to go beyond the group stage only once, a record they would like to change this time in Qatar. They would like to take heart from their performance in 2018 when they beat the then world champions Germany in the group stages. South Korea is in the stacked group H, and this is how it looks like. Personally, I think this is the real group of death. A win or draw against Portugal or Uruguay and a couple of other results going their way. And who knows, South Korea might go through to the round of 16. Guess we'll find out. And lastly, we got Canada, which is again not part of my top 5. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 41st in the world and 4th in the Confederation of North and Central America. Earlier this year, Canada surprised everyone when they became the first team to qualify from their confederation ahead of Mexico and United States. Canada would love to bring some of that incredible form to the World Cup. This is only the second World Cup appearance for Canada. In their first outing in Mexico in 1986, Canada failed to score a goal in any of the three games. Moreover, they lost all three games. Like Morocco, Canada finds itself in Group F along with Belgium and Croatia. They are the lowest ranked team in the group. Canada does have a world class player in Bayern Munich's Alfonso Davis in their ranks who might have something to say. And now, without further ado, we are going to talk about the number one team on this list of the top five dark horses at this World Cup. We have got the current first ranked African team in the world and the current champion of the African Cup of Nations, Senegal. This is Senegal's third World Cup appearance and they are playing back to back World Cups for the first time in their history. As on 6th of October, they are ranked 18th in the world and first in Africa. With Sadio Mane in its ranks, Senegal would like to repeat or even better their performance in the 2002 edition when they beat the then world champions France in the group stages en route to the quarter-final finish. Senegal finds itself in Group A, which looks something like this. The group includes the host Qatar, a European giant in the form of the Netherlands and Ecuador as the fourth team. As it happens, Senegal is one of the favourites to go through to the next round along with the Netherlands. They certainly look like the team who might go beyond the round of 16. Guess we will find out. So, whom do you think? Sorry, cricket game. What did I miss? Mm -hmm.